FCT Nova offers a research and innovation oriented education focused on societal challenges, sustainability and ethics, leadership and teamwork, collaborative interdisciplinary research. Currently, FCT has more than 8,500 students, 420 professors, and 525 researchers. We are organized into 13 scientific departments and 15 research centers, and we offer 18 bachelor's degrees, 42 master's degrees in science and technology. The immense diversity of topics, objectives, and structures of these courses means that there is an enormous variability of educational strategies within the faculty. Thus, it was decided to survey the innovative pedagogical tools used in some of the courses and briefly present them in this document. FCT Nova has a very diverse learning environment owing to its multiple science and technology domains. This includes undergraduate, bachelor, master, and PhD courses. Each program brings an intimate knowledge of their field in order to offer a specialized higher education experience within a close mix of scientific research and teaching. Sharing teaching experience and developing better practices, several initiatives by individuals and groups have been implemented, including invited experts. The Rectory Educational Group is a prime example. One FCT inter-semester experience for the first year students develops competence in questions of society, sustainability, and digital transitions. Seminars for sophomores immerse participants in scientific research, internships, professional practice, and entrepreneurship. Two support services provide staff development opportunities for teachers and sometimes students in preparing better classes. The library has a yearly program offering sessions covering diverse topics such as scientific communication, scientific writing, thesis planning, and the use of bibliographic management software. The e-learning lab is dedicated to supporting the integration of digital technologies for an enhanced learning environment. Moreover, it provides full support in the use of the school's learning management system, Moodle. This system is utilized by about two-thirds of all courses. This unit also creates digital education resources on demand, producing audiovisual, photographic, and multimedia materials. This support was a critical lifeline during the pandemic when we all had to reinvent ourselves as teachers. That training was taken on board by most of our teachers and is still visible in many classes where the digital environment grows in importance. We have departmental groups with a proven record of implementing information and communication technologies aimed at teaching and learning mathematics and education sciences at the master and doctoral level. These are offered to international students and to external secondary school teachers. Internal staff development in this area is channeled through the previously mentioned library and e-learning laboratory. There is also a quality assurance system in place allowing for systematic feedback of students' experience each semester and a periodic teacher assessment every three years allowing for both reflection and recognition of the work done while teaching. The Lightboard is a low technology solution for recording instructional videos. It lets me draw highly visible sketches and equations, work in my drawings in a natural way, and facing the camera at the same time. Students really appreciate this off-class studying support. In the classroom, under the supervision of the teacher, students execute, in pairs, several assignments concerning numerical modeling using advanced structural analysis programs. To observe complex phenomena which are relevant to a civil engineer, and evaluate the accuracy of analytical formulas used in structural design. The applied methodology is hands-on in the classroom environment and covers all phases of the project from conception to manufacture and operation of the developed equipment. In this we see the organization of students in groups provides training in innovative work in communication and in conflict resolution. Another innovative aspect is the evaluation made by peers of the performance of the equipment produced according to criteria defined in the beginning. The Pertus personalized tutoring system is a software system whose main goal is to provide each student distinct assignments and exams to promote a personalized learning experience and enhanced assessment credibility. With Pertus, each student receives a different version of each assignment and or exam creating a feeling of uniqueness. The tutors are supported by the software with a specific solution for each student so that practical classes can be effective and exams can be easily assessed. Through the development of a digital portfolio, students are encouraged to reflect, democratize and be creative about the contents covered in laboratory and field work and to complete the study with videos, interviews or other bibliographic and cultural contents on the topics. 
The portfolio can be a magazine, a website, a blog, a podcast, enriching the development of students and making them more aware and active. In peer instruction, there is no traditional lecture. Class time is divided in 15-minute sessions. Each session aims one single topic. Students are presented to conceptual questions that challenge them to think about the physics instead of jangling equations. In small groups, students must explain their answers to their peers, involving them in the teaching process. Students significantly improve their understanding about physics concepts and their success rates and grades are generally better when compared to students in traditional lectures. In the course Introduction to Industrial Engineering, the students carry out a project consisting of several activities in laboratory environments supported by a set of guides and manuals. Therefore, the students learn with a high degree of autonomy and they have first contact with industrial and laboratory equipment. At the beginning of the semester, a pedagogical contract is developed by the professors and students setting up the action plan for the entire semester. In tune classes, listening, relaxing and learning. Considering the daily overstimulations and multiple distractions that our students have, the real challenge is to keep them in tune with classes and contents. In aquatic monitoring and basics of environmental chemistry classes, students create their own playlists to listening during practical classes. The in tune classes, listening, relaxing and learning, creates a fun and relaxed environment that is propitious to learning. Also, four times during the semester, students must present their work in the most creative way they can. The result? It's a very positive competition where different and innovative ways of communicating are produced. We have implemented the team-based learning TBL method in undergraduate chemistry courses since 2011. Almost uh, 3,000 students and more than 10 professors have been involved. Uh, TBL dramatically improved students' participation and provided a unique opportunity for the pedagogical development of teaching staff. Half of the students report discomfort with TBL. In fact, the requirement of individual preparation before classes is often perceived as a troubling deviation from the traditional way of learning. We have been exploring strategies to empower students in hetero and auto-evaluation so that higher levels of learning can be attained in autonomy. Students are stimulated to learn how to learn and to direct their energy to the constructions of tools or exercises to evaluate peers or themselves in their learning curve of the syllabus of different courses. In different courses, there are active exploitations of parts to promote the communications of knowledge that students have acquired in autonomy. Students are requested to become autonomous communicators of concepts using audio, video, message, similar to those found in different social media and that they frequently produce in their online presence. Precision classes have been evolving to recruit electronic tools present in the pocket or backpack of every university student. Electronic devices have been used in different classrooms to promote the presence of students engaged in active, participative and collaborative work, both in the classroom and in autonomy. Students have been challenged to question what they have learned through the proposal of small research projects. In this way, we bring the research closer. The strategic vision for us at Innova in three years unfolds in five axes. Provide quality modern teaching and learning with an identifiable brand that allows our students to become global actors in the construction of the future. To boost the production of scientific knowledge with impact oriented to the global challenges of the society and increase FCT Nova's participation in society at regional, national and global levels, promote a motivated and mobilized community, and to develop a campus open to the regional community with modern facilities adapted to teaching, research and innovation, all focused on the construction of a sustainable future. 
To achieve the objectives of the teaching and learning axis, we propose three major projects to be developed during the next four years. A new curriculum profile for all FCT Nova courses, pedagogical model that takes advantage of digital tools and is measured by effective quality assurance processes, and promote conditions to attract a significant number of international students. Broadly speaking, we aim to have teaching practices oriented towards problem solving with social impact through multidisciplinary approach with a solid theoretical training and always supported by a strong laboratory component. To stimulate students' skills in critical thinking and effective communications to promote creativity and autonomy, preparing them for a constantly changing world. And finally, to endow face-to-face teaching increasingly supported by innovative technologies.